number one, want to want to credit uh, Miami. Uh, what a game they played, and we jumped out on them early. And everybody says Miami will lay down and quit on you. Uh, they didn't. They came right back and they fought. And you're you're. Usually you have to win the last five minutes before the half to win the game. We didn't. Um, they, they won. In fact, I think they scored twice, ten points within seven minutes. And then you have to come out and win the first five minutes of the second half, and they drove right down the, the field again. So um, they, they fought back and forth. Their quarterback played so well, uh, and we couldn't force a turnover. Um, so uh, give them credit for this atmosphere was the best I've ever seen here. It, it was unbelievable. So thanks to our students and, and our, our fans for coming out tonight and making a difference in this ball game. And, and I thought it disrupted some things that, that Miami was trying to do. Uh, but for a team who struggled over the last couple of years to win fourth quarter games, I'm, I'm so happy to, to see them do it twice, uh, two weeks in a row. It's, uh, it's really special. It was a team win. Uh, the whole team and staff made a bunch of mistakes again. Uh, but the whole team made enough good plays along with the bad plays in all three phases uh, to win the game. And the kicking game was much better tonight than it was. Our punting needs to get better, but our, uh, our punt coverage, our kickoff coverage, uh, Mike uh, Rubino kicking it out every time really, really helped us to keep some of their speed off the field. Um, and, and you have to be so excited for the way Sam Howell played at, at the end of the game. We sat there with, uh, uh, there's 22 minutes and 55 seconds left. You, used your timeouts. You've only got one left, and I just used it because I didn't want the clock to run off 40 more seconds. And we weren't stopping them. So we, we thought about it, uh, thought about going ahead and punting it, but that means we would have had to have a three and out. We'd have 30 seconds left in the game with no timeouts. And we felt like uh, <laughs> uh, after having two straight sacks that our odds of a fourth and 17 were better than punting and stopping them in three downs. So it looked really bad or awful. Uh, so that's about what we were looking at, and then Sam just stepped right up and, and hit Toe Groves uh, for 18 yards, I think, and, and uh, just uh, remarkable the way he played down the stretch, and, and, and give Phil Longo a lot of credit for the calls that he made, too. How does the um, team, I'm sorry.